Good evening. We're going to talk about radio this evening and something that I've been involved with for oh, a good many years, oh, well over 50. I get questions from people often asking me, how do you get into radio? Is there some magic formula? Do you need special schooling? Do you need, uh, need to know somebody? <laughs> that comes up often also. And I'd like to answer those questions. Sure, you can go to a radio school, but it is uh, kind of committing your time to an awful lot of study. And, but I can show you, and I am going to show you, some ways right in your own home, and it won't cost you anything, and show you some basic things that you need no matter how, what kind of radio announcing you might want to do. Now, the first thing that uh, you've got to be aware of is, let me ask you a personal question. How are your teeth? Well, it sounds like a funny thing to ask, but your teeth should be pretty even and pretty well spaced, nothing missing, nothing exciting in your mouth. And that makes a difference because the air from your speech has to flow over and around your teeth, and you certainly wouldn't want it to be disturbed, and then you won't sound right. Second of all, it sounds funny also, is breathing. Most people do that. But uh, what we find is the proper way of breathing is a little like this. If you play a musical instrument, like a wind instrument, or if you're a singer, well, you know about breath control. You take in air slowly into your lungs and you exhale it slow at a constant rate. But if you don't sing or play an instrument, find someone that does. They can show you some pointers on how to do that. This is how singers are able to hold notes, sustain notes for uh, quite a bit of time, or announcers can announce for several sentences and you don't run out of air. Now, the third reason and these are not in any particular order, but it's something that I hear and it's brought to my attention quite a bit. The use of slang. You get people that you hear, um, or, you know, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, equals, best, best it's this or best that, uh, um, and uh, things like that. And it's just tiring to listen to and you don't want to. Now, you need material to practice with. You need something to read. Here's where I differ from what they would do in a radio school is you don't really have to have anything special. You have newspapers, you have magazines. Heck, if you've got your eight-year-old son's uh, grammar book, you can read that. You just want material that you can read. And you should find yourself about 15 or 20 minutes a day, maybe away from all distractions uh, without having to worry about anything, and you can practice. And then other things to do and uh, the last thing is after you've been practicing for a little bit have someone tape record your voice and boy there's a I have never seen it to fail a 99 out of 100 people can't stand their voice when they tape it because you don't hear it the same way it's a little like if you when you get ready in the morning and you're looking in a mirror you're seeing your image backwards and maybe you don't realize you're combing your hair on your left side you're really combing it on the right side but if you if you're uh, using a tape recorder, recording your voice, you're only you're hearing your voice half through the your nose and mouth, but the other part right through your inside of your head. So it's uh, it can be a little shocking. And if you talk to someone, you're hearing their voice directly, and it works out pretty well. Now, I'd like to borrow a title from one of the Beach Boys songs to illustrate. Uh, the radio things because you don't necessarily have to be going into radio to use these things I've shown you. Now the Beach Boys song I'm thinking of is Wouldn't It Be Nice? You know, wouldn't it be nice if you were a student and you went into class at some future date not too far away and you could stand up in front of your class and recite without any fear or maybe someday maybe it's okay to be a little nervous but you won't be shaking in your boots. Wouldn't it be nice if your job had a, an opening and a staff meeting and you were able to offer suggestions standing up in a uh, organized manner and so forth and wouldn't it be nice if you could join a civic club maybe you're in a member of the Elks or something like that or maybe the Little League your children are involved with but if you're involved wouldn't it be nice if you could contribute to a meeting and speak you know, radio has been awfully good to me over the years it's, it's fun, you have to live, look at it that way and uh, I, I appreciate being able to tell you about it. And we'll cover the radio, crazy radio world. It helps if you're a little a little nutty because it uh, kind of goes with it. But it's been great to me. And we'll speak more on it in future programs. And uh, you have yourself a good, good evening. And uh, I'm Don Mino.